do a little side by side on a couple of those easy to install mid drive motor units. On your left side of the screen, you have the Ba Fang uh, BBS motor unit. On the right side of the screen, right in front of me here, is the uh, TS DZ2 from Tong Shang Motor Company. Uh, very similar, the installation is basically the same. Um, I haven't gotten a, an official weight, but I'm going to post it in the um, description here of this video. Quite a bit lighter, um, quite a bit lighter than the BBS unit here. Um, but, you know, just to put these kind of right by, right next to each other, I'm able to get a little bit better access, easier, um, pulling the stator out of this motor this involves a lot of careful picking of silicone seals and it's a new motor so I'm going to leave this alone but you can see right away uh, quite a bit more you know, about 65 mil across if I'm taking the entire outer diameter of this stator housing versus you know let's say about 90 to 95 um, on the BBS so a lot more copper in there uh, the wider di diameter is going to give you a lot more leverage on the uh, center drive uh, gear. Uh, both of them work the same. The stator is going to uh, go through its phase. Uh, the magnets are going to go through its phasing. And the stator is going to turn a center drive shaft. That drive shaft steps down to a uh, another larger gear. Um, both of these are nylon. Um, and then that that turns your chain ring. Uh, the efficiencies of the mid drive are going to be through the gearing. Uh, it allows you to decrease the load on the motor and get this motor up to speed quickly. And being able to keep the motor up to speed and under decreased load uses less watts. Um, I've never ridden one of these before. I've been riding and installing the BBS motors for years and years, so I'm interested to see how this feels. Um, <clears throat> one of the main differences between the two, uh, the customer that this bike is going on to really wanted a torque sensing um, pedal assist operation. And that, this, uh, this Tongsheng motor, it has it all. It's all in one unit. Now they both have, uh, you know, it just, it goes in, bolts in, and it drives your chain through your existing wheel set. Uh, that's why it's so easy, easy, easy to uh, install and that's why they're very popular. But I'm really interested to see how this feels and I'm going to do a little install overview and then a little road test uh, with, with this motor in particular. It's going on a single speed so I'm interested to see uh, how everything works and I'm going to have that uh, later in this video. I did want to go over th uh, one other thing. Um, something that really jumps out at, uh, at me is uh, the controller on the BBS. Sometimes things get overheated. Um, and they need or, and, or something gets shorted out and it just the controller needs to be replaced with this uh, battery installed you would have to take your rings uh, you know your, your chain ring off and with three three millimeter bolts you could you know basically pull this controller out it's a fully potted controller and replace it with the bike still in, involved I haven't really dug too deeply into this uh, but I'm guessing that this fully potted controller, um, this particular one is a 36 volt 15 amp. There's also a 48 volt 18 amp version of this motor. Um, but if I flip it around, there is a plastic cover with two small bolts uh, underneath this ring that will allow you to, uh, I'm guessing, allow you to access a couple screws that are holding this controller down. And then there's some JST, you know, plastic clips uh, that you could. Uh, unclip right here got a couple capacitors sticking out so uh, we're going to get this one installed and uh, later in the video we're going to do a little roadside uh, sound test and I'll give you guys a little bit of feedback on how it feels and how it compares to this BBS unit all right thanks for uh, stopping by and checking this out uh, next up we'll be uh, we'll be on the bike <laughs>